Hi and welcome to Mom's on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell notification. That way you'll know when we upload a video. Grab your coffee. <clears throat> you'll have to excuse me. My voice is kind of in and out this morning. Uh, we have a front coming in and there's a lot of junk in the air. It's tough and my allergies are kind of going crazy. Um, which actually is kind of perfect for what we're going to read this morning. And that is in the book of um, John chapter 5. And this is about healing in Bethesda. Now there in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. And these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man who was there, who had an infirmity thirty-eight years, when Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already that he already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked, and that day was the Sabbath. This, I know, is very short. Um, it's just a portion. It's chapter 5, verse uh, 2 through 8. But it's so powerful because here's a man that has been in this condition for 38 years. You know, that's basically half of a lifetime. So for half of his life, he's been in this condition. And um, he's been by the healing waters right there. The whole time he's been by them. But he tells Jesus that he can't go and walk and get himself into the water whenever the angels stir it up. And Jesus asked him, or Jesus told him, to pick up his bed and walk. And he was healed from that moment right then. He was absolutely healed. And I just want you to know that if you are in need of healing, like so many people are, don't give up. Keep praying. Keep asking, keep begging, and keep grabbing a hold of the hem of Jesus' garment. Because he still performs miracles today. This isn't just something from a long time ago. He still heals. Just don't give up. Just keep asking him to heal you. Just keep on and on and on. You may not be able to get up and get into the healing waters, but you can go to Jesus and Jesus can heal you. I hope you have a blessed day. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And may the peace of our Lord be with you. Shalom.